Crimson Trace announces LaserGuard Pro for today's most popular concealed carry firearms, combining a red or green laser sight with 150 lumen light, taking personal defense to the next level. Available now at your local dealer. Today on Tom Gresham's Gun Talk, live from South Dakota, it's pheasant season. Also, a gun store owner warns of rising prices if the election swings Democrat, a chance to win a Ruger 1022 takedown, and more. Call in now with your range reports. One Tom Talk Guns. Now, here's Tom. Uh, yes, indeed, we are with you. Tom Gresham here at Gun Talk, and we are live today from South Dakota, just outside of Pierre, South Dakota. You may hear some noise in the background. That's all the hunters uh, running around here having lunch. Uh, we just got in from doing some hunting in the morning. Got a bunch of roosters. Had a bunch of fun. We're just having a great time. It is beautiful country, beautiful weather. Uh, and through the show today, we're going to be talking to a number of people who are on scene here, but also taking your calls and comments and questions. And if you have a, a question for somebody that we have on the show, by all means, give us a shout. 866-TALK-GUN gets you in here. 866-TALK-GUN. It's just easier. Just dial 1 and then Tom talk Gun. I am joined right now by a good friend, an old friend uh, that we have hunted at many places all over, the, well, all, not all over the world yet, but you never know. <laughs> Linda Powell joins us from Mossberg. How are you? I'm great, Tom. Great to be here today. Well, I th- appreciate you having us out here because this is a, a Mossberg event that we're doing here and we're shooting your shotguns. The 930 Sporting? Correct. Right. And can we talk about the other one? Sure. We the, can. Okay. Yep, the SA 20 field gun. Okay, 20 gauge field gun, both semi automatics. Having a great time, shot uh, clay targets with them, shot a bunch of roosters with them, and uh, you're showing off because you're going lefty this time, Ooh. because, because <laughs> that old rotator cuff kicked in, huh? Yeah, I don't know that I call it showing off. I would say I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, uh, it's been a bunch of fun. What a place. This, we're, oh, I didn't even mention, we're at Scattergun Lodge, uh, what, 20 miles maybe outside of Pier, something yeah. like that. Uh, it is... You know what I like about this place? It's very nice, but it's not fancy, like, you know, opulent. It's just a really nice hunting lodge. You know, it's a perfect place to be here with a group of friends. I mean, you just feel right at home immediately. Uh, incredible food. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a few more pounds go home with us. We do, we're doing all that walking, so we just will convince ourselves that, yeah. that, that, no, it's not enough, huh? Not enough. Not enough, okay. And just beautifully manicured property. I mean, you know, the, yeah. the pheasants, uh, oh, just unbelievable. Incredible. Just gorgeous. Uh, had a good morning this morning. Uh, we'll be sh- we were shooting a lot of video. We'll have that on uh, the Gun Venture Show. And maybe some online stuff. We'll show some of that off, too. Uh, we were just talking this morning. We were out there. We have sharp-tailed grouse flying by in flocks of anywhere from 40 to 150. We've got the sandhill cranes up high with that eerie, otherworldly sound of theirs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, there's just nothing like it. You know, once you hear one, uh, you're just kind of drawn to them. Just yeah. incredible. And you know, at that point, you go, okay, it's, that's just strange and and it goes forever it seems like you know you can hear them when they're so high you can't even see them yeah against that bright blue sky we were looking at and then of course roosters everywhere and fabulous dogs just want, labs they're using labs here and there's so much fun you know that's one of the great things i love about bird hunting anyway i mean first of all it's a gentlemanly sport we don't have to start at the crack of dawn right uh, and, you know, you can be social, but to me, the best part of it is, you know, watching the dogs. And, and just like you said, they have incredible dogs here. Absolutely. I do want to, uh, we have a little bit of uh, a welcome because we've got a, a new station for Gun Talk. Welcome to KNNT 98.5 FM in Battle Mountain, Nevada. We uh, appreciate you being here. I uh, have a, a lot of things going on. Of course, we have our Gun Talk giveaway, which you try to do at least one a month. Right now, Liberty Safe's Handgun Safe. October 2016 giveaway is going on. It ends Friday, October the 28th. If you go to guntalk.com slash win, they're going to give away four, uh, four grand prize winners. They're going to get the uh, handgun vault. Very cool. You, posi- you, know, you can have it next to your bed. You can have it uh, stashed in different places. And, Lynn, you know, this is the, uh, the HDX 250 handgun vault. Go to uh, guntalk.com slash win. One of the things you and I have talked about at various times is just when you're a gun owner, the need to be responsible for your guns at all times, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you know, whether it's long gun, handgun, doesn't matter, shotgun, rifle, 
they need to be secure. Uh, and people occasionally I hear people say, well, you know, I just I teach my kids, leave them alone. Well, that's great. Even if your kids are perfect, they have friends. That's right. You, know? it, you, you just can't take the chance. You never know what's going to happen, uh, what individual may walk into your home, be around the guns. Um, but one of the things I'm really proud about Mossberg, too, is we provide a gun lock with, with every gun that we sell. Yep. And, uh, you know, we provide safety messages, too, because we want everyone to be a responsible gun owner. And and part of that is being sure that you store them properly and limit access, um, you know, to other people, and particularly children or people who just aren't familiar with firearms. Yeah, and are, are not authorized to have have the gun. Right. Uh, when people think Mossberg, because we're shooting the uh, the 930, and it, it is a really nice semi-auto. It points real well. We were just breaking targets, hitting birds. But when people think Mossberg shotguns, they think pumps. For the sure. most part, historically. And you dropped something on me yesterday, which I was not aware of, about the, the 500 hitting the magic number. What was that? You know, we were talking about there's, there's always conversations about what's the best-selling pump gun out there. And mm-hmm. most of the time, I would say the majority of people don't say Mossberg. But actually, we hit the 10 million landmark long before our competition right did. Right before the 870. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Long you, before the 870. Yeah, okay. a, a good uh, six, seven years oh, before. Wow. So, you know, part of it is Mossberg has always been a very humble company, mm-hmm. um, not necessarily, uh, you know, strongly promoted. Family owned. Family owned, still family owned and operated. Mm-hmm. And I think the philosophy has always been, you know, we build a good quality product and people recognize that it's dependable at a good price and you, you don't have to promote it. But, you know, I'm, I'm very proud to say, you know, we do have the top selling pump action shotgun. Of course, you guys are also uh, big time into rifles. Let me do this. Let's drop uh, down and pick up Austin, who's called in on line one out of Waco, Texas. Austin's got a range report for us. He, what where did you go out and shoot, Austin? Well, I uh, bought a digital scope that is day, not, day, light, and night time scope. Uh, okay, a digital scope. You, yeah, it uses uh, an infrared designator at night. But anyway, I slap it on my 6.8. I take it to the range. Mm-hmm. It's got one shot zero. So I set it target out at 50. Mm-hmm. Take a shot. Then you move the reticle over to where it actually landed on paper. Right. And then started busting out the middle of the target at 50 yards. So then I put in my ballistics information on my bullet. Grain, ballistic coefficient, all Velocity. that. Velocity, yep, yep. Take it out to 100 yards, adjust the distance on the scope to 100 yards, Okay. and it's spot on. <laughs> it, it's cheating. Yeah, it, it is cheating. It's, uh, But, you know, sometimes cheating is allowed. It's okay. It's, we're not having a problem oh, yeah. with that. I mean, <laughs> it makes it so much more fun for me with a rifle at distance. I don't have to do any of the work. Well, I think you just uh, broke the code, Austin. Hitting stuff is more fun than not hitting stuff. So, hey, great range report. I appreciate you doing that. Hey, let's take a quick break here. We're uh, visiting with Linda Powell from Mossberg with Scattergun Lodge in South Dakota. If you'd like to join us, it's 866-TALK-GUN. If you've got a question or a comment or if you just want to share your story about your Mossberg, now might be a really good time. We'll be right back. Shooting your gun is more fun than cleaning your gun, right? Then you want Federal's newest high-tech ammo, American Eagle Syntec. With polymer-coated bullets to eliminate copper and lead fouling, clean burning powders, and the Catalyst lead-free primer, Syntec range ammunition means you clean less, shoot more, and shoot better. No copper jacket also reduces splashback when shooting steel in 9mm, 40, and 45. Visit federalpremium.com and ask your local retailer for Syntec ammo. You got your carry permit, and that's good. But you know you could use more training. Get the DVDs, which have what you need. Springfield Armory presents Concealed Carry 1 and Concealed Carry 2 with Bata Group. Learn specific concealed carry skills from Top Gun fighting trainers. Get trained. Be prepared. This really is life and death. ShopGunTalk.com that's ShopGunTalk.com. Brownells has always given you an advantage. With their huge selection of forever guaranteed gun parts, ammunition, shooting accessories, and more. And now, they're offering you the Edge. For just $49.95, Brownells Edge covers your standard shipping and any return shipping cost for one year. Brownells Edge members also receive discount expedited shipping 
and exclusive offers. Get the edge today by visiting brownells.com slash edge. What's important in a gun safe? Security, reliability, safety, good looks? It all comes down to quality. Quality that's built in from the beginning. Liberty Safe has made quality products for 29 years right here in the USA. Trust your guns, your valuables, and your safety to Liberty Safe. Did you ever regret buying quality? I didn't think so. Get the best. Whatever your budget, get a Liberty Safe. LibertySafe.com. Sid is on the way. Silencer Shop has shipped a SID kiosk to a gun store near you. What is SID? It's Secure Identity Documentation, where you and all of your trustees can register, get fingerprinted, and complete the documents necessary to own a silencer in your gun trust. Easy, ATF compliant, and you only need to visit SID once. Get to know SID, your new 41F champion. Learn more at silencershop.com. Making the world a quieter place. We're in South Dakota, believe it or not. We're, we're hunting pheasants over here. We're at the uh, Scattergun Lodge, visiting with folks from Mossberg who uh, brought a few media folks here. Ryan's down there chowing, Linda. I don't know what, the, you know. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, we're, 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 we're up here doing radio, and they're all down there eating that good chow there. We'll get him on here in just a little while. And uh, Sheriff Jim Wilson's with us also. Uh, we got John Veer from Timmy Trigger. We got uh, Chris Ellis. Who else? I mean, there's a whole, who else did you bring in? Oh, we've got Dave Moss. Mm-hmm. Uh, from Outdoor Hub and um, Joe, Arterburn. Joe Arterburn, yeah. Yep, exactly. So we've got uh, quite the uh, lineup. So you never know who we're going to grab and drop into a chair and say, hey, let's talk, you know, we'll do that. Oh, let me uh, tell everybody something here. We This is a special deal. We just got this. This is going to happen in the next two days. Two lucky Gun Talk listeners are going to win their very own Ruger 1022 takedown rifle, complete with a 1022 accessory prize pack. Uh, that consists of the BX Trigger, the BX25 magazine, rifle case, cleaning kit, eyes and ears, the whole deal. This is going to be really, really easy. If you would like to enter for a chance to win that, you go to our Gun Talk Twitter page or the Facebook page for Gun Talk. And no later than Tuesday, October 25th, just write in, tell us why you want a 1022 rifle. Real simple. Just let us know. Why do you want a Ruger 1022 rifle? And uh, two folks are going to get chosen to get free package. That's pretty cool all right so linda we were talking a little bit during the break we got you know jim wilson down here and you and jim have hunted all over and one of the things you mentioned was uh he's a great guy to have in camp it occurs to me and you have hunted all over that a lot of people who don't hunt don't understand that when you go back and talk about a hunt you will mention the animal some Right. But when you really start digging down, you're going to start telling the stories in camp of the people you were with and the, the, the pranks that were pulled and the stories that were told, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, that's part of hunting that I've come, become to love, mm-hmm. uh, you know, sharing the experiences with other people. And then, like you said, when you go home, being able to tell your friends at home about, hey, you'll never believe what happened in camp. And I think last night's a great example. We had three guys here that are great uh, guitar players, singers. And we sat around last night and just had... It's like two hours yeah. of just singing and passing the guitars around. And I mean, and we're not talking, you know, schlocky work here. We're talking some really good singers and guitar. Well, Jim is just about to release his third CD. That's right. So, you know, it's this is some real good talent. So you never know who's going to show up in the hunting camp. And you meet the most interesting people. Absolutely. And one of the things I love about this camp, I don't know, what do we have? Uh, maybe 30 hunters here mm-hmm, total? About that. Uh, you know, people from all over the country. And so, yes, we have our group that we came with, mm-hmm. but we're getting to know the other guys in camp, too. And, you know, it's just a great experience. Absolutely. You know, where are you from? What do you do? You start you start that way, and then pretty soon, you know, then you find these crossover points and connections with people. We have a guy here who he's taken up hunting at the age of 67. Right. Holy cow. That's not easy to do. No, and several people here, it's their first time in a hunting camp. Yeah. Isn't that something? Man, unbelievable. Tell you what, let's go with the phones. Ray is on line two, Orlando, Florida. Hey, Ray. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Good. I was What's just, up? Uh, just calling to give you a range report. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of uh, Black Aces Tacticals. No. Uh, they make shotguns 
And uh, basically, they're pump-action shotguns that feed from a uh, a box magazine, not like a tube fed like you okay. used to on a pump-action. Right, yeah, right, right. Uh, very, very cool uh, for the California crowd, um, <laughs> since it's not semi-auto. <laughs> yeah. You got you got so, to find a way. To, so that, did you did you shoot one? I did. The owner was out. He had about a thousand rounds of uh, uh, just bird shot um, yeah. and a couple of a uh, couple of uh, samples that he had. And uh, there was one. Uh, it has a spring where you uh, where you go to work the slide, and all you have to do is pull it back, and then you let it go, and it swings forward for you. Um, very very cool. Uh, you can you can really unload about ten rounds or so of, uh, of the loading of your choice. Uh, in a hurry, and then get it loaded again in a hurry. It, it with it'll the, run with box magazine. Yeah, right. Yeah, because you just pop another uh, box magazine in there. Pretty interesting. Yeah. And hey, Ray, that's really cool. I love the idea, uh, and appreciate you sharing that. Uh, and thank you, sir. A great call, Linda. One of the things that brings to mind is, and of course, Mossberg's been known for tactical police shotguns forever. Uh, the idea of a lot of people don't realize that you need training if you're going to have a self-defense or home defense shotgun. Absolutely. And, and you guys make a point. You actually, you know, uh, I mean, we work with folks at Gunsight. You've done a lot of different things out there. I don't care if it's a shotgun. You still need to know how to work it and run it in a self-defense situation, don't you? Oh, absolutely. You know, and I think that's one of the key things. Again, it gets back to what we were talking with earlier. You know, it's the responsibility of being a gun owner. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, getting the proper training, learning to use it. Uh, and for that home defense scenario, um, you know, in my mind, you can't have enough training. Well, there's an awful lot of, I never thought of that, that yeah. happens in those things where you go, oh, yeah, okay, inside of a house, your shotgun is delivering a pattern about the size of your hand, if you're lucky. So you do have to aim it. Point here, how about with me having my shoulder issues right now? I'm a right-handed shooter. Mm-hmm. Uh, I need to know how to shoot left-handed for my home defense scenario. Ah. Uh, you know, it's it's nice, you know, for pheasant hunting, but if it's getting down to a life and death situation, I better know how to be able to operate it from my off shoulder as well. And if you go take good training, the right kind of training at a good school, they will have you running it from both shoulders, won't they? Exactly. That's that's pretty cool. Um, the Mossberg 500. When people, you must get stories everywhere <laughs> you go. You know, it's amazing when you travel, and people love to share them with you. And, and, you know, I'm thrilled hearing them. But, you know, you always hear the ones about, you know, I've used it as a boat paddle. You know, I've dropped it in the water. (laughs) In fact, I had a friend who just was in Alaska uh, doing some waterfowl hunting. And and what they did was actually, first morning out, dropped the gun right in the, the water. No. Pulled it out, dumped the water out, and kept hunting. So well, Yeah, I mean, it's that's what you do. Yeah. And, you know, as much as we like our semi-autos, that is one of the things that we really love about a pump. Absolutely. You can hose it out, you know, swish the water around in there, get the big chunks of mud out of it, and it'll probably work for you. Yeah, exactly. You know, they're, they're just pretty terrific. So uh, do love those. Is there anything new in the 500 that people ought to know about? I mean, because remember, to a lot of people, it may be a year or two old, and you may think it's old news, but people may not know about it. You know, the one that comes to mind to me is still the flex system, which is still yeah, phenomenal. The, the flex system, in my mind, is just like um, probably the greatest development on the side, you know, on the shotgun side in, in decades. Um, and, you know, I had an experience with that. I had a group of women out at gun site. We were talking about that. Mm-hmm. And we were going to do a tactical shotgun, but also a, an upland course. We combined the two. Oh. So we took the flex shotgun. And if, if listeners aren't familiar with it, you're able to easily switch out stocks and recoil pads and forends with the toolless locking system. So anyone can do it. You can do it right in the field. And the first thing we did with this group of women was take each one and individually fit the gun to them, figure out which length stock, Mm -hmm. and then you can make minor adjustments by switching out recoil pads as well. And it was amazing to watch each woman really appreciate how much better they shot because the gun fit them and how much more comfortable it was to shoot it. And over the next few days, it was amazing to watch the improvement in breaking clay targets, but also in, in our defensive drills. Were you using 20 gauges? We had women using both 12 and 20. Uh, you know, they were trying to choose uh, which gauge they'd be using for their home defense mm. gun. So. Of course, we've talked about that a good bit. I personally think a 20 is absolutely fine for home defense. That's, that's what I have as well. Yeah. yeah. You know, good loads, which is you know always the deal, good loads. But the truth of it is, it just doesn't beat you up as much. Right, right. You know? That's so, exactly right. Okay. So where are you off to next? I know that you, uh, you're you 
this is your season. It is. I stay pretty busy. Very little time at home. Usually just enough time to uh, grab some clean underwear and and go off again. But uh, I'll be in Kansas uh, for whitetail season uh, coming up, mm. and uh, then I'm going to Maine for sea ducks, Whoa, uh, which jealous. is one of my favorite things. If you've never experienced that, I'd I'd recommend it. Uh, part of that's the culture of it too. Um, yeah. And then uh, toward the end of the season, I'll be down in Texas for the uh, Del Corman whitetail. Uh, which is a s- smaller version, similar to the coos deer, mm-hmm. and some predator hunting. So, uh, yeah, that, was, that's all. That, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> and this is not your first time of the season, is it? Oh no, <laughs> that's right. So you've already been hunting. Uh, yes, I have a fair been. Amount. Uh, yeah. That, that is, yeah. Everybody wants your job. Uh, Jim, or Jim just says, "Hey, I want her job." Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim, Linda's not giving up her job. I no. Think, no. <laughs> There you go. So uh, how do, what's the best way for people to keep up with what's going on at Mossberg? You know, we're really big into social media now, our website. And, and I was going to touch on the fact that uh, we now have blog posts to help you with, you know, tactical training with your shotgun, mm-hmm. um, hunting tips, uh, you know, but we're also on Facebook and Twitter. So definitely check out www.mossberg.com. Um, you can sign up for newsletters to, to get the latest information okay. on products and also when we post new videos. So lots of ways to stay in touch with Mossberg and what's new and, and helpful tips. Okay. And, of course, uh, it's not like it used to be when we would have to wait once a year for new products. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, whenever a new product is ready, it's ready. Yeah, exactly. You, you throw it out there. So the, uh, the semi-autos are running great. Uh, I'm very impressed with them. Uh, you know, and, and I'm, I'm glad to see you guys having such a great time in the field with them. You know, we uh, it's a great gun for the clay course, but yeah. as you've seen, great in the field as well. Yeah, the Sporting 930 uh, has a great feel to it. And we and you can shoot, you got that thinner comb on it, and you can shoot it left-handed and right-handed. I mean, when you said that, I thought, oh, yeah, really? But, no, it really does work. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, so uh, Mossberg.com. Yep. All right, and then all the Facebook and all the rest of the stuff. You bet. There you go. All right, Linda Powell, we'll have you back a little bit while I let you go fetch uh, Sheriff Jim Wilson. We'll get the two of you together, and then I'll get out of the way and let you tell stories. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All right, we'll talk with you just a little bit later. All right, if you'd like to join us here, it's real simple, 866-TALK-GUN, 866-TALK-GUN. Ryan's over here on deck. You never know who's going to show up. I'm Tom Gresham. We're at Scattergun Lodge in South Dakota. Be right back. Sign up for our Gun Talk newsletter and join the Truth Squad at www.guntalk.com. Now, back to Gun Talk with Washington Times opinion page regular contributor, Tom Gresham. All right, we are back at you. We are in uh, South Dakota at the moment because, well, that's a good place to be. We were out hunting pheasants this morning. Ryan uh, Gresham has just joined us. He is, of course, the uh, co-host of Gun Venture and Guns and Gear Television, as well as a whole bunch of other things. We had a fun time out there, didn't we not? Oh, man. We got on the pheasants. We were uh, we were blazing the sky. You, you were shooting really well. I mean, on the clays yesterday, you were high gun on sporting clays. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's funny because we worry about the gun fittingness, and I shoot from the left shoulder. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I didn't know if it was going to fit. Or, or feel right, but I don't know. It just they, they were talking about the stock design on this thing, and it really seems to be working. Well, just so people understand, there was one station of Rabbit. You got to shoot five singles. I watched three people hit zero, right? Zero, and then you walked up there and smoked four of them, and I think you went to sleep on the other, and you were trying so hard or something. Yeah, well, <laughs> and I, you know, I did get to watch them do it, which was helpful. Yes, or, it is, or, or help watch them not do it. Um, we, but I just you, kept you thinking, knew all the places to miss at that point. Yes, we've eliminated, <laughs> but you know, I kept thinking, man, those rabbits are moving fast. Mm-hmm. So I just said, I'm just going to move my gun fast, not have more lead. No, just move the gun faster. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, not try to see a perfect picture because it's it's kind of snap shooting it's when it's fast. that quick. It's a small yeah. window to hit it. And I, I watched one guy and he kept jumping in there, and he would swing out ahead of it. And then pull the trigger and stop the gun at the same time. Just we wanted to freeze and lock in that perfect lead. And, of course, end up shooting five feet behind it every time. Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. You just if you're not swinging, you know, it's just you're going to be in trouble. You really are. Let's see here. I want to uh, let's get on line three. Get Bill in here. He's out of Liberty, Missouri. I always love the name of Liberty, Missouri. Hey, Bill, you're on Gun Talk. I took your advice. You advised me instead of selling guns to buy gun. So a buddy of mine <laughs> called me and he needed to pay off some credit cards. Mm-hmm. So I bought a Wilson Combat 1911 with a package of nine magazines, a holster, mag carrier, and the whole works. And he said he'd shot the gun three times. Oh, my. Wow. It pretty much doesn't get any better than that for a 1911. I mean, Wilson Combat makes awesome guns. Man. Yeah. So and have I, you... I bought a, a, a Beretta AR-22, but it's not made by Beretta. It's made by some German com- uh, company. My... But I, I, haven't, I haven't got a chance to shoot these guns yet, but mm-hmm. I will. Well, the the uh, Beretta maybe you say Ryan, I think it might be Umarex. Might be Umarex. That's, is that does that sound right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're making these really neat um, twenty two versions of I guess you'd call them real guns. I mean, that's a real gun too. But, right. You know, twenty two versions of ARs and different pistols, and um, they I get I guess they license it with Beretta to say, hey, we're going to make this right. replica. Right. And it's does it have kind of a similar weight and feel? Yes. Yes. Yeah. What what a great training but, uh, tool, they, practice tool. Yeah, they they make a five five six. It's just like this gun, so I I want to get one of those. Okay, good deal. Well, you know, um, I'm sure you you know would like to make a little bit of money on that Wilson Combat, and I mean I, I'd be up for like four <laughs> four hundred, maybe even five hundred dollars for that deal. <laughs> hey Tom, you want you want to hear something funny? Sure. Last year I bought him two Wilson magazines for that. 1911, and I never dreamed that I'd end up getting them back. <laughs> Fate is sometimes strange, that's for sure. Well, I think you scored big. Anytime you can uh, pick up a Wilson Combat gun, especially at a distress sale, that's not a bad way to go. And I know, and, and look, thank you for the call, Bill. I appreciate that. Sometimes people say, well, I can't believe that you, you know, uh, paid this guy, you know, less. And said, well, no, no, no. If the guy wanted to sell it and he needed the money and he had some bills to pay, and he was okay selling it, and you were okay buying it. It's a good deal. Right? It's a good deal. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, as long as both parties are happy, then both parties are happy. Yeah, you, you know? got what you want. You know, and sometimes you do distress sales. You say, "Hey, I just need money. I need cash right now. What can I sell?" Well, in this case, the guy had this gun. And he hadn't shot it like what do you say, three times? Right. You're okay. Yeah. It's just money sitting there in the closet. And I can convert that into cash right now. There are a lot of used guns out there that are. I would I, you wouldn't even really call them used, you know. I mean, it's barely used, but you know, and it goes the other way too. If somebody says, "Well, I can't believe you'd pay that much for this gun or that gun." Well, if you wanted to and you felt like it was worth it, mm-hmm. go Good for point. it. Good point. I mean, there there are guns that are fifty thousand dollars now. Some people would say, "Well, that's just silly. I I would never pay that." Well, somebody okay. will. Okay, you don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> I was just looking at when I was over at uh, Brian Belinsky's last week in uh, Traverse City, Michigan. He had one of uh, Bob Peterson's, you know, uh, Peterson Publications, oh, wow. one of his guns, and it was fifty thousand dollars. To yeah. your point, and I looked at it and said that is a fabulous piece of uh, of art. It would be incredible to hunt with and to own. I will never have that gun, right? But I'm glad that somebody does because they can preserve this piece of gunmaker's art. Yep, absolutely. So that's pretty cool. You know, it's fun, um, and sometimes luxury, maybe it's just luxury uh, for you. You know, A $2,000 gun may be yeah. as luxurious as you want to go, but you, you can get a really nice gun for $2,000. Well, I was just going to say, if you say, look, you know, I've always wanted to have a nice over and under. Well, for two grand, you can get a nice over and under. Absolutely. And you go, you know, that's my dream gun. Okay, cool. Then that's your dream gun. Yeah. The beauty of all of that is if you can, whatever you can afford, that gun you will have practically forever. It's pretty hard to wear out a gun. Yeah. You take care of it, they're going to last. Yeah, exactly right. Tell you what, let's uh, take a quick break here. We'll uh, we'll come back with more from Scattergun Lodge in South Dakota, visiting with uh, Ryan Gresham. We're going to go round up some of the usual suspects. And also we're taking your calls and comments. Are you looking at this election? Are you worried? I may be changing my view a little bit. I'll tell you a little bit more about that when we come back. 866-TALK-GUN. Be right back. 
The Ruger American Rifle is a 100% American-made firearm that offers outstanding performance at a great price. Available in standard size and compact models, it features power-bending integral bedding blocks, a Ruger Marksman adjustable trigger, a flush-fit four-round rotary magazine, and a three-lug bolt with 70-degree throw. Compact models feature a shorter length of pull and a shorter barrel for a reduction in overall length of more than five inches. The Ruger American Rifle, another rugged, reliable firearm from Ruger. After a long work day, you need a break when you get home. That's when it's trigger time. With quality adult air guns that are powerful, accurate, and quiet, and cost just pennies to shoot. We are Pyramid Air. We know air guns. Let our experts with more than 150 years of combined air gun experience help find the right air gun for you. Get your trigger time, anytime, for less. PyramidAir.com You like free stuff, right? You like good deals, and you want more guns, ammo, and accessories. So, get all of that with the free, yes, the free smartphone app, Gundelio. With Gundelio on your phone, you'll get special offers and deals when you walk into a gun store. Plus, check it anytime for hundreds of deals and offers. Who wouldn't want that? Gundelio at the App Store and Google Play. Gundelio.com The Black Hills. There's nothing like it on Earth. The kind of place where characters become legends. Wild Bill Hickok. Crazy Oars. Calamity Jane. Pick any part of the world and you'll find people go there to make it their own. But this is where people come to get made. This is the place that made the people who make the best ammo on earth. Black Hills Ammunition. A great trigger can make you a better shooter. For over 60 years, Timney Triggers have been trusted by hunters and shooters everywhere. Timney Triggers are proudly made in the USA and come with a lifetime warranty. Installation is easy. Give yourself the Timney Trigger advantage. To see more and order online, go to TimneyTriggers.com. That's T-I-M-N-E-Y Triggers.com. All right, let's go straight to the phones. Line one, Maurice is with us. Lake Charles, Louisiana. Maurice, what do you have there? Well, yesterday I took out my Mossberg 590 to do a little practice with it. Mm -hmm. And it's an older 590 I've had for years. I use it for home defense. And it has a bead front sight, and that's all it has. And I was wondering what you would suggest to improve the sighting picture on it. You mean specifically for home defense, but not for wing shooting? Not for wing shooting, no. Okay. Um, well, I also, I also use it in uh, sometimes in three gun matches. Okay. Okay. Um, Ryan is thinking. What about a red dot sight? Well, you could certainly put a red dot sight on it, and you know, those are great. Um, a great option. One thing that you have to just be aware of. It may not be a big deal, but um, how high the red dot sits might affect the way you mount the gun mm-hmm. and the way it. You know. Yeah, you may need to put like an additional comb on the uh, the cheek piece, right? Or a ghost ring sight. You have ghost ring sights. That's true. And uh, I believe excess sights does ghost rings, but they I think they also have kind of more of a traditional open sight system mm-hmm. for shotguns that are really nice. Would you, Maurice? Would you prefer to do? Um an optic on it or something like just iron sights? Uh, well, a red dot or a oh, uh, ghost ring sounds good. I've yeah, got it drilled and tapped. You get it drilled and tapped because it didn't come that Right. Come drilled. That's it. You're going to have to do a drill and tap. It's not set up that way. And, of course, the uh, I think a red dot is, and, and, you know, that's the same as a reflex in this case because you're talking about like a, a, an RMR or something like that. Sure, right. Um and they're lightweight, they're like an ounce or so. There's a little, there are a lot of people making those cool things there. So that would probably be what I would do, especially that would be fast for three-gun, and you can use it with both eyes open, and I, I just think a red dot would work really well for that. Okay. Uh, I've never had a uh, misfire with my Mossberg, great gun. 
Well, I, I, Linda's just walking up again. I'm going to have her put on a headset. I'm going to let you tell her that, okay? Hold on a second here. Linda, put on that headset. We've got a guy talking about his Mossberg 590. All right. Maurice, Linda's there now. Go ahead and tell her what you were just telling me. Well, I was just saying that I, I've had the 590 for many years, and I've never had a misfire with it or a jam. Works perfectly. Do you love that? I, I love to hear that. I was waiting for the butt, but that's great. That's awesome. <laughs> There's no butt, huh? <laughs> so he, he's wanting to uh, fix it up for home defense, put a sight on it, uh, and we were thinking maybe a reflex, uh, a red dot, yep. something like that for home defense and also use it in three-gun, and that might be a, a real good way to get cranked up. You bet. It would make it very versatile. Yep, yeah, exactly. Sheriff Jim Wilson just sat down with us here, too. He's a, not that he knows anything about guns or anything, but, you know. But I'm trying to learn. Tom. Yeah, well, that's good. And you're doing a really good job, Thank Sheriff. Thank you so much. Absolutely. <laughs> it is uh, It is so much fun. Let me tell you, we got uh, Linda Powell from uh, Mossberg just joined us. Jim Wilson, of course. If you don't know, shame on you. Uh, Jim's written for most of the big gun magazines over the years, also a veteran law enforcement officer. And who are you writing for now, Jim? NRA magazines, okay, Rifleman and uh, Shooting Illustrated, and right. then I do a lot for the internet, for the NRA internet, right? Uh, okay, good site. deal. And uh, so there you go. That kind of uh, wraps that part up. We are in. Interestingly enough, you were shooting left-handed today. Linda was shooting left-handed, but not because you chose <laughs> to. Ryan shoots left-handed. I shoot left-handed on shotguns. Now you shoot handguns right-handed. I do. As do we. Sure. We're all messed up. You realize that? <laughs> We're just, it's a wonder we hit anything. Well, when you're, when you're very left eye dominant and, uh, you know, you're right, I'm right handed, but very left eye dominant. So you just, yeah, as long as you start that way, it doesn't feel weird. Then, well, no, it's basically, you've always shot from your left shoulder. Oh, yeah. On long, long guns. Long guns always, yeah. Yeah. And, and the same with me. My dad was able to see, I was doing the deal of, you know, leaning over the stock, sure. use that left eye. And he said, no, 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 with your toy guns, with your BB guns, you're going to be using the left shoulder. So that's all I ever knew. Exactly. And if that's the way you learn, it works out great. It's just, in in Linda's case, you're a right-handed shooter, and you're having to shoot from the left shoulder. That's got to feel awkward. It's very awkward, but I'm also left eye dominant. So when I first started shooting, hmm. I had to kind of train my my right eye to take over. Right. And I did that. A lot of people said, why would you not just shoot left-handed? Well, Going into the gun business, I knew that my options as a left-handed shooter might be limited. <laughs> you would you would be able to have more more guns if you shot right-handed. Right. So it's it's really interesting now having to retrain myself uh, to allow my left eye to take over, and you know, and trying to shoot left-handed. Right. So right. <laughs> I'm just struggling. Let's just be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't look like you were struggling. You were hitting some birds out there today. Uh, Jim, how much time do we have? Do we have time to get Keith in here? I guess is where. Okay, I tell you what, let's do this. I want to get Keith on line four from Millbank, South Dakota in here. Hey, Keith, how are you? Well, I am doing well. Okay, I tell you what, if you will throw your question out, we'll probably have to hold you over the break, and we'll let uh, Linda handle it for you, okay? Okay. I have two young sons that I am looking to purchase youth shotguns for so they can do trap, and then when they can finally get their permits, uh, like on pheasants, ducks, that sort of thing. Right. I was thinking How? along a line of 20 gauges, but I have got no idea what past that point. All right. Hold on, Lynn. How old are your boys? Uh, 12 and 10. Okay. I think we're going to be able to fix you up here. i tell you what, we're, we're up against our break here. So, Keith, if you'll hold on, we'll cover you, go right through the break. Linda, you're sitting there just like I can, I can see the wheels in your head just spinning right now. You're going, yeah, we got this, right? <laughs> that's that's right. We, we got this. We can take care of that. And then we also ought to talk about the 20-gauge versus 12-gauge thing. Sure. And I think that's something we could all have an opinion on. Right. And the and the good ammunition available for the 20-gauge. Yeah. And what a game changer that's been exactly. for everybody. All right. Everybody hold on here. We are at the Scattergun Lodge. We are in South Dakota. We're talking with... Linda Powell from Mossberg, Jim Wilson from the NRA Publications, Ryan Gresham from Gun Talk, and they just let me hang out with them. I just feel lucky to be here. We'll be right back. (music) 
All right, we're back with you. We have uh, Keith has called in from South Dakota. Want to know about youth shotguns for 10 and 12 year old? And uh, Linda Powell from Mossberg is here. We were just talking about this during the break. I'm going to let Linda Powell and uh, Sheriff Jim Wilson talk about this. Linda? Well, this is one of the areas I'm so proud of to be part of the Mossberg team because we've always believed in getting youth started in the hunting and shooting sports. But the key to that is making sure they have a gun that fits them. Mm-hmm. If it fits them and it's fun to shoot, then they're going to they're gonna be a lifelong hunter and shooter. And we have over 40 models of shotguns and rifles for youth. Wow. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm a big proponent of 20-gauge. Um, and, and, you know, Jim, I think we were talking about that. You're not going to be handicapped as far as with shot shell options yeah, you can today. Break, Jim, you can break targets and drop birds at 20. Abs- absolutely. I shoot a lightweight 20-gauge for mm-hmm. upland birds, and mm-hmm. I shoot generally a 7-8-ounce load, hmm. which is a bird-killing load. Yeah. And... Uh, and, and almost no recoil. Exactly, exactly. So you've got a very, you can have a very mild load as well as a youth gun that fits the child, and that's critical. That do I remember you've got a youth shotgun that you can also get a longer stock for when they get bigger? Well, that's what I was going to say. We have a we have a couple of options here. Uh, you know, you can start with a youth gun, mm-hmm. um, which is a shorter stock, but we also have what we call our super bantam which comes with an insert to start with. So that can grow with with your son okay. or daughter, okay. you know, easily. But also, uh, you know, if you have that 500 down the road, you can buy standard stocks uh, through our parts online. Sure, just put a, a, another stock on it. And the, the versatility of the 500, I, I mean, I can't even tell you how many extra barrels that we have. So you really can take that one shotgun and, mm-hmm. and do it all. So, you know, I think the youth models, the big advantage there, too, is dimensionally, We've reduced, like, the size of the, the foreign grip and things, too, to make them fit. And actually changed the curve of the grip so they can reach the trigger. So, exactly. I mean, little things like that. You yes. Know? Shorter barrel, so they're well balanced, not too heavy for them. So there's some real advantages to purchasing a youth gun. But you're not limiting yourself because that gun can grow with it's a lifetime well. gun absolutely get it for a youngster and and we're talking about the bantam you could you could have that for a six seven eight year old i mean it's absolutely it's really even, just fit the little bitty kids we even have our 510 mini which is for that what i'd say is probably your six to eight year old mm-hmm. um so you know there are lots of options there again go to our website and check it out but like i said over 40 models for the youth and, Jim, the key is to give them a gun that they'll actually will break targets and drop birds with. Exactly. The, and, and I'm knocking the 410. Mm-hmm. I've seen some magnificent shooting with the 410. Unfortunately, it, I never did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, an expert's, it's an expert's cartridge, and the 20 is such a step up. Yeah, it and, is. And so we fit the youngster out with 7 8 ounce load, mild recoil, mm-hmm. and a gun that fits them, like the Mossberg. And the other thing, though, to keep in mind is you're creating a family tradition. That youngster may teach their child to shoot with that same gun because mm-hmm. we've kept the, the original stocks, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. even though we... Yeah, you can go back to the short stock for the next generation. Exactly. But, yeah. you know, the only problem with that, Lynn, is now you're not selling more guns. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> You know, Ryan started with a 20-gauge pump uh, hunting ducks. So, I mean, youth model, yeah. Youth model works, you know. Exactly. And so, no reason not to. And, and then you've got a 20-gauge for life, and I'll tell you, you give me a 20-gauge, I'll hunt just about anything that flies. Exactly. I have no problem with that at all. How many of us, as we're getting older, are revert back to a 20-gauge? I mean, I see that over well, we get, and over we again. We get smarter as we get older. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's true. <laughs> I think that's about it. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys. You guys, I tell you, what, we'll have you back on in just a wee bit here because uh, we've got a, a a lodge full of folks, and we got uh, Linda and Jim. We'll definitely be back here. Ryan also, but you can certainly join us. All you have to do is uh, give us a call eight six six Talk Gun. When I come back, there's a fella out in uh, Las Vegas who's put an ad in the paper for a gun store. He says, "Buy your guns before Hillary gets elected." You thought the media lost their minds over it. We're going to be talking to him, find out exactly what transpired and then how they portrayed him. We'll be right back with more gun talk. 